Hey there, everyone. Um, out of my hotel room, Fort Myers. Like I said, we're going to do a little Q&A session. I asked you the questions on Friday before I came here. So today's the day, Sunday. I'm going to answer them. Without further ado, let's get started. But before, smash that like, subscribe, and set the bell. Now let's get started. First one came from... Uh, so I've got my iPad here. No. Um, first one. Amici Goose. Did you remember your first flight, exact date and time? Thought about it. I did remember it was in April 2017. Um, looked it up, exact date was the 28th of April 2017 um, at 11 a.m. in the morning. Three and a half hours from that direction here, uh, from that position here in that direction in Vero Beach. Absolutely good memories. Um, let's continue with the next one. Savas uh, MMV, how much does it cost to become a pilot and is there any scholarship? Cost for becoming a pilot is approximately in Germany, don't know where else, um, around 60 to 100,000 euros. So that's quite a lot of money. Um, how to get that money? Well, you could do an integrated course with an airline. They paid up front, you paid back as soon as you work for them, basically. Otherwise, family, private credit at a bank. Hope that uh, helps a bit. Up to the next one, Cameron Belfort. What has it been like to join a new airline and start at the bottom again? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I wouldn't say I'm starting at the bottom again. It's more or less a change of um, airplane and colleagues, which is always nice. Um, meeting new colleagues and flying a new plane. So yeah, I, I think it's a quite nice experience getting out of your comfort zone again, doing something new. Next one by Siren Next. Next. Are you allowed to go um, for sleep during a flight? That depends on where we're flying and how long the flight is, if we're flying with an enlarged cockpit crew, basically. So for example, flying to Tampa or Fort Myers, it's two people in a cockpit. So we are not allowed to go um, take a nap. If we are flying to Cancun, for, for example, three people in a cockpit, then we switch and um, take two hours of a nap or something. So yeah, that sums up that question. Regina Nikolenkos asked, um, what profession would you choose if not aviation? Well, I think I would work in IT because I studied IT before becoming a pilot, didn't finish it, thinking about doing it on, as a side hustle. So finishing my education in IT, not working in there because I love being a pilot. <laughs> Next one by Leon 4S, no, 47S. Why do you change airline or why did you change airline? Well, I changed airline because I lost my job at TUI due to the pandemic which is uh, understandable. So I had to look for a new airline. And at the end of it, I can say I'm really happy where I am right now. I love my new colleagues. I love the new airplane. And in general, you say, in the good, alles gut. And I think that that fits it pretty good. Next question is by Captain Al Mufrat. Which airline are you flying for now? Well, that fits the first, uh, the, the last question. I'm flying for Eurings Discover um, out of Frankfurt, which is a leisure long whole airline basically and they do short haul as well so european leisure and um, long haul really nice should definitely go and check it out <laughs> next one is by fabioc 2021 which aircraft do you fly mainly um i'm i flew the 737 i'm now at my own airline and now i'm flying the a330 200 and 300 not the neo um yeah, but, but basically I'm just flying the A330 right now because pilots, they always have to be rated on a specific aircraft. They can't just swap except if they have all the ratings. So um, I'm pretty much stuck with the A330 right now, which isn't that bad because I love it. Do we allow passengers... Ah, next question, sorry. By Staza Chi. Do we allow passengers to go into the pilot cabin, I guess, uh, cockpit from time to time? Uh, I would love to, but unfortunately it's not allowed anymore. Um, so, but there's always a good chance when, when we landed after landing and the uh, gate is already um, at the plane and the doors are open. 
to kindly ask the stewardess to um, have a look in the cockpit and most likely the pilots, they, they will let you in and have a quick look. So always ask and I guess that will work then. Next question is by Easel Clips. What was the best experience when you started becoming a pilot? Um, I would say it was right here in Florida when I did my first solo, went up there all on my own and uh, that was pure freedom. Just loved it, being up there alone and uh, having all the controls on my own. We had an area where we were allowed to fly in and just, if you decided to go right, you did. If you decided to go left, you did. Descent, climb, whatever. That was just pure freedom and really, really loved it. Next one by uh, B-R-O-V-N, Art. Where did you do your pilot training? Um, I did my pilot training at uh, European Flight Academy in Frankfurt and Vero Beach. I think now they switched it to Phoenix and uh, Bremen in Germany. So that was an integrated course with them. Next one on the list, B-R-O-V-N. Oh, again, are job opportunities uh, for pilots dying out? Um, if you if you read the news a bit about aviation, um, right now there's a huge, huge demand on pilots, especially here in the US. I think I read a number between 10 or 15,000 pilots are needed each year to close the gap um, in the future, 10 years ahead of now, because then a lot of pilots in the US are gonna go into, uh, into retirement. So they have to hire right now approximately around 10,000. Not quite sure about the number anymore, but I thought it was 10,000 to um, close that gap at the end of the 10 years. So I would say the, the, the demand is still there. So if you're interested, just do it. Next one, Stanolova. How do you manage your personal life and the job? There's not much to manage actually, just live it. <laughs> um, I'm right here in Fort Myers now, going back home tomorrow. I've got three days off and then I'm going again. So I think, um, I like doing that because it just keeps life, well, what's the word for that now? It just keeps you entertained. Is entertained the right word? I don't know. So it doesn't bore you. You always uh, meet new people, meet new cultures, meet new countries. So that's pretty nice and I love it. But if you're more of the person who likes to sit at home all the time with family, I guess a long haul pilot wouldn't be the best job for you. Let's continue by Diana Rentea. Can you still apply for pilot if you have um, point minus zero five uh, shortcoming? Um, so yes, you can. You should check with the airline regula uh, regu regulations regulations um, for their recruiting, but most of the time it's up to plus minus three. So I've got classes on my own and I've got point zero nine or something. Not quite sure, but that's not a problem. You can still be a pilot. Let's continue. Uh, next question comes from Real Emmanuel. What was your favorite part highlight of flight training? Well, I guess I answered that a couple of questions um, before my first solo. That was just uh, mind blowing, <laughs> being up there for the first time on your own. Next one is by Niels MRE. What do you prefer? A330 or 737? I knew that question has to come. Um, I would say just flying wise, I didn't fly the A330 that often now. So I would still stick to the 737 control wise and feeling wise, but comfort wise, definitely A330. I've got a table now, guys. I, I've got a table in the cockpit can put my food on there, eat, write something, take the clearances down. So that's comfort wise. Creme de la creme. Now, um, so yeah, I, I think I can get used to the A330 quite, quite fast. And uh, I think I'm going to prefer it over the 737 soon. <laughs> so uh, let's continue. VM Spielers, German, no, English question. What is your opinion on the A350? Enjoy. Fort Myers. Thank you, for first of all. And uh, A350, yeah, I love it. Looks good, looks uh, elegant. Is it elegant? Looks really, really nice. The cockpit is futuristic, but I really love um, 
and all the systems in there, like in the emergency descent button and stuff like that, is just really, really nice. So I would really love to fly it one day. Next one, KS, KS Stingers. Where were you born? I was born and raised uh, in Germany near Frankfurt. So really nice to work there from there right now. Next one is uh, by Amar. How long did it take to become a pilot? Well, it took me around 22 months, just the education without the type rating and then another four to five months for the first type rating. So approximately till I flew the first passengers, 25 to 26 months. Yeah, that's, that's the number. Mrs. Aviation, uh, tips for jet lag. <laughs> I'm trying to figure them out right now on my own. <laughs> I would say that the best thing for me right now is to stay in between the two time zones. Well, when, when I'm only flying somewhere for 24 hours, I try to say the German time zone. But when I'm staying here, like, like here right now for approximately three days, I try to stay somewhere in between. So I went to bed yesterday at 9 p.m. and got up at 5 a.m. in the morning, which is Germany 11 in the morning. So that's, I try to make like, meet the middle of both worlds. Um, and that helps me out right now pretty good. But you should ask me again about three to four months. <laughs> Let's continue. Um, oh, last one already. Joshua Korb, uh, old flight school colleague of mine, working in the same company now asked, uh, when are we flying together? Mate, if I would know, I would uh, be very happy. But unfortunately, I don't know yet but we should definitely try to figure a flight out or request one and uh, go on a little layover together. With that said, I hope each and every one of you will have a great day. I'm gonna go outside now, enjoy the sun for a bit for my last day here in Fort Myers before heading back home tomorrow evening, not evening, afternoon at uh, 4 p.m., something like that. And with that said, hope you liked it. Thanks for all your questions again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.